Hello everyone. Have you ever experienced in your life that sometimes when you're about to do prayers or rituals or spiritual work, spell work, whatever that is spiritual, that is supposed to help you? Hmm? That when you're about to do or you want to go and do water appeasement, during this time you just realize that someone that have not had contact with you in months or in years will call you. Or they will try to have communication with you, maybe through phone calls, email, any type of communication. And they will try to be nice. They ask you about your children, your family, your husbands. All of a sudden, you think, wow, maybe something good is coming to your life. Old people are not coming back to your life. <laughs> or sometimes you see strange calls, like private number. You don't know who is calling. Or it could be all like those salespeople, like people that try to sell things on the by phone. You know, there are some people that will call you by phone because they want to sell something. Salespeople that call by phone. Mm? This call, this call is going to be like, they will just ring and they'll drop it. Do you know why you get this, this calls? Okay, I want to reveal a deep secret that some of you guys don't know so that you'll try, uh, so that you can learn to avoid some, you know, some consequences that comes, the danger of answering calls when you're about to do spiritual work or prayers or rituals and someone calls you is that this person that is calling you is someone that is monitoring you spiritually someone that have done a spell or rituals or spiritual work against you and they have seen that you're about to do spiritual work and this spiritual work you're about to do or this prayer you're about to do is going to affect them negatively so they will call you immediately in order for the consequences the punishment to be lessened to be reduced or to be cancelled because in the spiritual realms once you answer the call of that person that is calling you in our it signifies that you guys are making peace somehow so the punishments or maybe if it's a back to send that ritual that is supposed to go back to the person it will now be nullified so what do you do when you are about to do spiritual work when you're about to do rituals and someone is calling you no matter how close how much you love the person do not answer the call so that the punishment the rituals the back to send whatever they've done against you will actually get to them don't answer call. Put your call off from people that you don't know, you know, that is calling you from a known number. Or people that you know that have not been in contact with you for many years. Or all of a sudden, someone that is not always communicating with you is being communicative or is being friendly during the time that you're about to do rituals. During the time that you're about to do, maybe you're going to do appeasement, you're going to do a give charity, like give stuff to the, to the kids or to a charity. Mm, this is how the spiritual people in the kingdom of darkness they operate. They monitor you. They see that you're about to to get something. If you are about, if for example, if you're connecting to the water to pray, they know that the spirit there will not work against them, like destroy what they have done or reverse it. So sometimes it's for them to make sure that you don't get that blessing. The punishments, mostly the punishment that is supposed to go to them back to sender, they will call you. Hmm? You see how they are monitoring you. They know that you are about to do rituals and they want to spoil you. This is why I said this road opening rituals that we have to do every month before other rituals is so important. So anyone that is calling you, sometimes it could be a spiritualist. <laughs> a spiritualist that have done something against you. This is why it's, before you go to any spiritualist, you should do divination to find out who you are going to, if it's good or bad. Some of them will tell you that once they do spiritual work for you, you shouldn't go to other people. That is red flag. Mm? Because they know that when you go to other people, they are going to see if they've done something against you and they are going to spoil it. Mm? So yeah, some people are evil witches and wizards, occultic people. They have done something against you. So when they see that you are beginning to awaken, you are, you are about to go to, to do spiritual work, to free yourself. And some things might go against, against them. They will begin to be friendly if they are living around you. All of a sudden, they will pretend like... All, you see some kind of strange love, they will start to give you this kind of love and affection. And the ones that are not with you all the time, they are far away, uh, they are not living with you, they begin to call you on the phone, send you message maybe by emails, by phone calls, or by WhatsApp. In whichever communication system that you have, they will try to communicate with you. Be very wary when someone is communicating with you, hmm? when you are about to do spiritual work. Because sometimes when they do it, they will also make your spirit weak so that you don't do that spiritual work. You just realize that you become tired, you become lazy, you, you lose interest in going to do the spiritual work you're supposed to do. That is the thing that they do. They will, some of them will even erase your memory 
for you to forget about doing the spiritual work that you're about to do. Dangerous witches and wizards, dangerous evil people, monitoring spirits. Hmm? So be very, very aware. Do not answer the call. When you don't answer the call, what you are supposed to get will get to them. And they cannot be able to prevent you from getting the blessing that is supposed to come to you. They are not going to, to block the back to sender that is going to reverse back to them because of what they have done to you. Hmm? Okay. You should learn this and put it in practice. If I'm we, if I'm you, you know, during the time that you're doing rituals, be checking who is calling you. Put your phone off, even. Mm -hmm. If you have any other, come, make sure that you have only contact with maybe your husband, your wife, or someone. Even your husband or wife who is living with you, if they are, you know, if they are against you, because some people can marry you or they can be dating you, but they are your enemy. So during this period that they are about to do rituals. You see how they'll be acting. Some of them will be looking for fights. They'll begin to fight you all because they are sensing that something is about to happen. Or they'll begin to be extra nice, extra romantic. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. When someone is acting this this world, this strange ways, you know, it's it's good for you to, to take notice and go and find out during with divination. Who is the, what, what is the intention of this person towards you? Hmm? Is this natural? Because obviously you know that it's not their normal uh, personality. Yeah, anyway. Do not answer strange phone calls when you're about to go and do spiritual work. Hmm? Ignore the call so that they can get what is supposed to get to them. Yeah. Even if they try to be nice, ask you about your family, don't answer. Don't answer because they are monitoring you. They know what is about to happen. Be wise. These people are... Uh, dangerous some of them they are the ones that always divert your blessings to them so when you go and do all these rituals and prayers then the blessings will be restored back to you and they don't want to lose that too they will come they all have different different uh, reasons but not for your highest good you know these reasons that is not going to help you in any way yeah anyway that, i just wanted to put this so that people will be uh, aware about what happens when these people are becoming nice, even when you go to prayer places, like you go to church, those places that they always have, like you're going to stay in the church and pray. Instead of you to focus in your fasting and prayers, like those of you that are Christians, you're, you're, you're trying to make friends. Did you go there to make friends or to do your prayers? It's through all this friendship that they're doing there that they will begin to block you. They know you're coming there, so they send agents to come and block your prayers and they will pretend to be your friends. They'll pretend to be nice. Distracting and putting blockages. Be wise. Anytime you're about to do prayers, it's, it's danger zones for your enemies. You know? So they are also trying to make sure that you don't succeed in doing that stuff that you're about to do. Okay.